Hey everyone, welcome back to the Infopedia Kids channel. So today we're going to look at the test of visibility rules for numbers part 2. So if you haven't checked out our previous video, it was the divisibility rules for numbers from numbers 2 to 5. So now this is the this is the continuation. So we're going to do for numbers from 6 to 11. So if you haven't watched our previous video, go check it out because if you did not watch that video, it's going to be pretty confusing. So so before you watch this, go watch that video and stay tuned till the end so that you can check out all the all the num all the numbers rules. So let's start from where we left off. We left off from the number 5. So let's start with the divisibility rule for the number 6. So to check whether a number is divisible by 6 or not, we need to check if the number is first divisible by both 3 and 2. If the number is divisible by both 3 and 2, then yeah, it's it's divisible. But if it's not divisible by either one of them, then the number is not divisible. So let's look at an example. We have 832,872. So uh, as you can see in the units place we have 2 which means the number is divisible by 2 and let's check if it's divisible by 3 so let's add up all the face values so we have 8 plus 3 plus 2 plus 8 plus 7 plus 2 which is equal to 30. You can do the addition in a notebook if you want, or you can just follow along with me. So we'll get the result as 30, and 30 is divisible by 3. So that means that 832,872 is divisible by both 3 and 2, which means that it's also divisible by 6. So now let's look at a few sums. I'll just get out my type so now let's look at a few sums so as you can see this is where this is what we've completed so here are our sums we have six sixty five thousand eight hundred and twelve so first let's check if it's divisible by two we have two in the units place so that means that sixty five thousand eight hundred and twelve is divisible by two so now let's check if it's divisible by 3. To check if it's divisible by 3, we should add up all the digits values. So we have 6 plus, oops, plus 5, which is 11, plus 8, oops, 8, which is 19, plus 1, which is 20, plus 2, which is equal to 22. So 22 is not divisible by 3. That means that 65,812 is, oops, is also not divisible, yeah, also not divisible by 3. So that means that it's also not divisible by 6. So... 65,812 is not divisible by 6. So you can follow along with me or you can listen if it's too tough for you. So next we have 55,627. So clearly 7 is in the units place which means that the number is not divisible by 2. So 55,627 is not divisible by 2. So it is also not divisible by 6. Remember, a number has to be divisible by both 3 and 2 if we want it to be divisible by 6. So now, let's look at the rule, the divisibility rule for the number 7. So to check whether a number is divisible by 7 or not, 
we have to check the units place digit and multiply that digit by 2. So next we should subtract the, the uh, product from the remaining number. And then with that answer we should check if it's divisible by 7 or not. Now if we have a very large number, if it's like 8 digits or more, then we should just repeat this process. Let's look at an example. So we have 1001. So 1001 is divisible by 7 because, let's look at the procedure. We have 1 in the units place, so 1 times 2 is 2. 100 minus 2 is 98. So we have 98 as our answer. You can stop with this or you can go even further and repeat this process more. Let's repeat this process one more time. So 8 times 2 we have 16. So this time let's subtract 9 from 16 which we get the uh, result as 7. So 7 is divisible by 7. That means that 1001 is also divisible by 7. Now let's look add a few sums. We have 9,996. So first, let's look at the units place. We have 6. So let's do 6 times 2, which we get 12. So now let's subtract 12 from 999. So 999 <coughs> minus 12, which is equal to <coughs> 987. So now we have 987, which is pretty big to find out whether it's divisible by 7 or not. So let's repeat this procedure. 7 times 2, since 7 is in the units place. So 7 times 2 is 14. So now let's subtract 14 from 98. So 98 minus 14 is equal to 84. So I'm going to stop the process with there. Uh, I think if we go on a little bit more, it will, the answer will be wrong. So 84 is divisible by 7 since 84 divided by 7 is 12. So 9,996 is divisible by 7. Now let's look at another sum. We have 17,618. So first let's look at the units place. We have eight, so eight times two, which is equal to 16. So we have our number 16. So now let's subtract it. 1,761 minus 16. Oops, minus 16. So this might be a little bit hard. Uh, you can take a rough note and do this if you want to. But the answer is 1745. So now let's repeat this procedure a few more times. So let's do 5 times 2 which is equal to 10. So now let's subtract 174 minus 10 which is equal to 164. So, 164. Let's repeat this process one last time. So, we have 4 in the units place. So, 4 times 2, which is equal to 8. So, now let's subtract 8 from 16. So, 16 minus 8, which is... Oops, 16 minus 8, which is equal to 8. So... 8 is not divisible by 7, so that means that 17,618 is also not divisible by 7. So 17,618 is also not divisible, oops, divisible by 7. So now let's look at the divisibility rule for the number 8. So to check if a number is divisible by 8 or not, we should check the hundreds, 
the tens and the units place digits. If the number in those three places is divisible by eight, then the whole number is divisible by eight. But if the number is not divisible by eight in the first three places, then the whole number, the given number is also not divisible by eight. Let's look at an example. We have 2,873,200. So we have 200 in the hundreds, tens, and units place. So 200 divided by eight is 25. So we have no reminder, that means 200 is divisible by eight. So that means that 2,873,200 is also divisible by eight. Now let's look at a few sums. We have 273,656, so in the hundreds, tens, and units place, we have 656. So you can do the division in a rough note. You can go ahead and pause it. So let's do divided by eight. So we get the answer as, let's see, first let's divide 56 by eight, we get seven. Next, 600 divided by eight we get 75. So now let's add them. 75 plus 7 is equal to 82. So we have 82 as our answer without any reminder. So 656 is divisible by 8. So 273,000 656 is also divisible by 8. Now let's look at another sum. We have 545,439. So we have 439 in the, play, in the first three places. So divided by 8. So there will be a reminder if we divide, we'll get the answer as 54, sorry, not 54, 50, 58 reminder 7 or something like that. 58 reminder 7. We'll get some answer like that. But there will definitely be a reminder. So that means that 439 is not divisible by 8 so 545,439 is also not divisible by 8 oops So now let's look at another sum. I mean, now let's look at the test divisibility rule for the number nine. So this is very similar to the divisibility rule for the number three. It's in our previous video. If you haven't watched it, go ahead and check it out. We just have to add all the face values of the whole number. Then the sum which we get we just have to check if that number is divisible by 9 or not. If it is, the given number is divisible by 9. If it's not, then the given number is not divisible. So now let's look at an example. We have 64,629. So let's add, all, let's add all the digits. We have 6 plus 4 plus 6 plus 2 plus 9. So 6 plus 4 is 10. 10 plus 6 is 16. 16 plus 2 is 18 and 18 plus 9 is 27. So 27 is divisible by 9. So 64,629 is also divisible by 9. Let's look at a few sums. We have 756,000. So let's just add up all the face values. 7 plus 5, which is 12, plus 6, which is 18, plus zero plus zero plus zero 
So we'll get the answer as 18. So 18 is divisible by 9. So 18 is divisible by 9. So 756,000 is also divisible divisible by 9 so now let's look at uh, one more sum we have 73,625 <coughs> <coughs> so first let's add up all the face values so 7 plus 3 which is 10 <coughs> <coughs> So 7 plus 3, which is 10, plus 6, which is 16, plus 2, which is 18, plus 5, which is 23. So 23 is not divisible by 9. So 73,625 is also not divisible by 9. So now let's look at the divisibility rule for the number 10. So a lot of people should already know this, but for those who don't, let's learn. So it's very simple. If a number is divisible by 10, it has to have 0 in the unit place. If there's any other digit in the unit place, then the number is not divisible by 10. Let's look at an example. We have 7,260,230. So since 0 is in the unit place, 7,260,230 7, uh, is divisible by 10. Let's look at a few sums. We have 736,742. So 2 is in the unit place, which means that 700, oops, 2 is in the unit place, unit place. So 736,742 is not divisible by 10. So now let's look at another sum. We have 75,686,560. So very simple, just like last time. We have zero in the unit place, so we have zero in we have zero in the units place so seventy five million six hundred and eighty six thousand five hundred and sixty is divisible by ten. So now let's look at our final number, which is 11. The divisibility rule for 11. So this might be a little bit hard, but I hope you can follow along. I'm gonna to try to make it look as easy as possible. So to check whether a number is divisible by 11 or not, we have to sum up all the digits in the odd places. And we also have to sum up all the digits in the even places. And then we have to find their difference. So if the difference is divisible by 11, then the whole number is divisible by 11. If the difference is not divisible by 11, then the whole number is not divisible by 11. So let's look at an example to make us more clear. So we have 1,527,141. So you may be wondering why the digits are in different colors, but well, that's to indicate the different kinds of places, the odd and even places. Yellow is odd and blue is even. 
So let's sum them up. So let's first sum up the odd places. So we have 1 plus 1 plus 2 plus 1, which is 5. Now the even places, we have 4 plus 7, which is 11. 11 plus 5, which is 16. So now let's find the difference. So 16 minus 5 is 11. <coughs> <coughs> so that means that so 11 is divisible by 11. So 1,527,141 is also divisible by 11. So now let's look at a few sums. We have 1,561,208. So first, let's sum up all the odd places. So the odd places are these 8, 2, 6, and 1. So 8 plus 2 plus 6 plus 1 which is equal to 8 plus 2 is 10 10 plus 6 is 16 16 plus 1 is 17 <coughs> so now let's find the even the even places we have 0 1 and 5 so 0 plus 1 plus 5 which is equal to 6 so now let's find the difference. 17 minus 6 is equal to 11. And again, 11 is divisible by 11. 11 is divisible by 11. So 1,561,208 is also divisible by Oops, divisible by 11. So, so now let's look at one last sum of the day. We have 6,465,654. So just like last time, let's sum up the odd places. We have 4, 6, 6, and 6. So, 4 plus 6 plus 6 plus 6 which is equal to 4 plus 6 is equal to 10 10 plus 6 is 16 16 plus 6 is 22 so we have 22 so now let's sum up the even places we have we have 5 5 and 4 so 5 plus 5 plus 4. So 5 plus 5 is 10. 10 plus 4 is 14. So 14. So now let's find the difference. We have 22 minus 14 which is equal to 8. So 8 is not divisible by 11. So 8 is not divisible <coughs> by 11 so six million four hundred and sixty five thousand six hundred and fifty four is also not divisible divisible by 11 so that's all for today's video. I hope you enjoyed learning about the divisibility rules. And I hope uh, this, get, this uh, helped you gain a lot of knowledge. So stay tuned for more of our videos. Subscribe. Uh, if, and if you liked the video, give a big thumbs up. And thanks for watching everybody. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.